say, your favorite most muscular. So officially, uh, at the time of this taping, about 21 days, three weeks out. Three weeks out, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Posing is tough. So <laughs> luck, luckily for us, time is the greatest factor, and we've had plenty of time. Um, it's, really, it's really hard for someone to continue to dedicate themselves to something uh, with a lot of uncertainty, especially when it comes to a contest prep, your first contest prep, because a lot of us... Uh, are looking to the date and they're very excited and uh, we're grinding through it. Uh, it's not easy for anyone. Um, even myself, I've done it 15 times and I can't wait for my <laughs> trip date because then it'll be the prep will be over and yes, we face. Uh, so I commend you, guy, incredibly. You're doing a, a great job, a 100% great job. And uh, we posed today after not being able to meet yes, uh, last week and your posing was fantastic. So you've also been practicing, which is another big factor. Um, not only the diet, but the posing. We call it doing your homework. Yeah. And that was always the greatest compliment that a coach would give me. So you've been doing your homework. And I know it's not easy. It's almost like a cruel game. It's like, oh, we only got like four weeks left, six weeks left. And you're really tired. You also have to start posing a lot too. You know? So uh, it's really not easy. And the way we've manipulated the diet now is... Uh, unfortunately for John, we're back to depleting all week. Uh, we've decided to go a, a lot lower on the carbohydrates to practice for peak week. Um, I'm still deciding, based on how he looks, how much to load him up in carbohydrates and whether we're going to do it one day or two days. Uh, his physique today was after loading carbohydrates yesterday. That's correct. Um, so uh, he's great at communicating with me, sending me pictures and all of that. So we're just going to overdose on that um, and, and have pictures almost every day. Uh, have pictures definitely before and after the one refeed day that we're doing. Um, I think that uh, the next three weeks, whereas most people just bring in their look, I think we're still going to make significant changes. And yeah. I've still seen progress yeah. even in the last, you know, every week. Yeah. Little changes, you know, in definition, certain body parts, in the abs, yeah. in the hamstrings, you know, bringing out the thickness in the back, and you can really see a big difference going from a depleted state to like loading the glycogen, yeah, yeah, definitely. putting the water back in. And it takes a it takes a very particular eye, which it doesn't take uh, too um, long to learn how to do it. It's not like you become an expert or whatever, but like even for your own body, like you can carb load, wake up the next morning, and look like Oh, I don't think I look like that hard or cut or whatever. And then once you start posing uh, or you pump up, you see a really big difference. And it's all practice going into the final week, final few days, because that's what peaking is really for. It doesn't matter if we peak today. It doesn't matter if we peak tomorrow. It doesn't matter if we look like crap tomorrow or feel like crap, you know what I mean? Because we'll use it as feedback uh, to get the, the last week perfect. Uh, and that's the best thing about the, the, the sport is that we'll go through it several times, you'll get on stage, and then for the next time you do this, you'll have all six, seven, eight yeah. months of, of, yeah. of um, logs and feedback for us to go off next time. Um, it really is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the coming weeks, especially the training, has gone up in volume and decreased in frequency because the posing and the cardio is more frequent and your energy is lower and it's all to dump energy out of your system. And you probably have been and will feel it. Your legs start to not work, your brain starts to not work. Brain done. <laughs> you, know, you start taking out your car keys and clicking it at your front door, uh, things like that. Um, but it's good because it is the hardest part of the hill, yeah. it is the darkest part of the tunnel, and you're almost at the top, you're almost to the light. And the goal was to look the part, uh, and I actually think we've done better than that. Um, and I actually really excited not only for this show, 
but your off season, yeah, your 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 the next time next time you go around with this, how much muscle you can put on, um, and like you have been, and I we all see on your Instagram and everything, enjoying you know being Jack and Tan, right? That's the goal. So yeah, yeah appreciate it. So it's yeah, this is really like down to the wire. I mean, this is you know we tried five other times you know yeah. to compete. Yeah. So um, I think this is a really good lesson in just kind of being patient, being consistent, and just taking things day by day, uh, especially if you have these long-term goals. You know, this goal for me is kind of the culmination of like a five-year process. So even though this has, you know, been um, a journey of 2020 uh, in terms of just the bodybuilding prep, you know, this going from 340 pounds all the way down to around 200 pounds, it's been, it's a long-term process and this is a long game, but I'm excited. This is just kind of a stepping stone for what's to come. I think kind of, you know, being a true kind of power builder, if you will, and kind of going back and forth between strength sports, uh, it's gonna be a nice compliment. I'm really excited. This is not only influencing my own training, uh, but also the programs that we do here. It's gonna be help, helping a lot of people. So I'm really excited to uh, partake this. So uh, definitely give uh, Sean a follow. We'll include his, uh, his Instagram in the description, but if you want to just let people know like where they can find you as well. Yes, uh, on a personal note, I'm very happy to have John as a friend and teammate. He's gone through a ton through all of this. They didn't just cancel shows on him, they canceled his business. Uh, and, um, it's been a crazy year. And I can tell you personally, he's had a smile on his face the entire time. Uh, Gaglione Strength in Farmingdale is um, probably one of the best powerlifting facilities you can come to if you're in the area. Um, and we would like to thank the MPC Northeast. We would like to thank Steve Weinberger and Bev Francis for putting the shows on the best they can, for being patient with us, for moving our fees around, and yeah. thank all the tanning companies and everything. We understand you're just as frustrated as we are, and I want to take this time to say thank you. Uh, you can find me at team 2 ripped one team underscore 2 ripped one on Instagram. Um, DM me if you have any questions about coaching. Uh, it's not just for bodybuilders. It's literally for anyone who wants to learn how to make a diet a lifestyle. Uh, and um, if you ever do want to get on stage, we'll, we'll do it with a smile on your face. Yeah. Uh, well, again, this is uh, again three weeks out. I'm counting the days down. I really appreciate you know having the guidance from Sean. It's been a long journey, so really excited. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. If you want to support the program, check out the links below. Give Sean a follow. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay strong, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.